wholesale soap again. I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, I've made this soap before, but I'm doing a double batch of it this go round. So, hence you guys are here. And I'm sorry for you guys being low, um, but my camcorder, the uh, tripod that I use, the legs are broke. <laughs> so, they won't go up. They stay down. But, it'll be okay. So I have got everything going. You guys can hear my washer in the background, so I apologize for that. Uh, it's rinsing, so it should be done shortly. Um, or it's spinning. But I have my heart oils in here being melted by my lye water. Uh, I have my milk back here. I have my liquid oils that has my oatmeal and my kale and clay in the bottom. I have my fragrance on the other side and all my colors are over here. So, we're going to get this party going. Um, I haven't, I did a, recently did a video on lining uh, the wood molds so they don't um, leak. So, let's hope that you guys have watched that video if you're a soap maker. I got into contact with the winner of the giveaway and she actually wanted to buy, uh, not buy, wanted to get soap as her giveaway, um, as her prize. So I will be making that today. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna pause you guys and bring you back when this is all melted. Okay, there's quite a bit of chunks in there left to blend up. So I got them blended up for the most part. I like to blend up my additives. all in and then we're going to divide it up for our colors. Just scraping as much of that out as I can. I'm gonna hand stir it because um, I had to stick blend the heart oils a bit to get the majority of them broken up. So I don't want this to accelerate too much on me. So I'm gonna add in my milk, which is extra liquid, will help, which will help thin the batter out. This is coconut milk. divide this off into five containers. There's one chunk right there. Maybe I can get it. I hope I'm not stick blended too much. Alright. Any other little itty bitty chunks will get blended up when I do the colors. Alright. So I'm going to get five containers. I've washed them recently, so there's water spots. That'll be okay. Because this, um, this soap has five colors. <clears throat> I'm hoping it will all fit in all five of these. I don't know. I've never done it before uh, in a double batch. I 
think it will. I think it'll all go. Yep. Now, I'm going to scrape this big container out. sink to be washed out shortly and I'm gonna get my spoon for my colors and we're gonna start adding some colors we'll do the fragrance last this is a very bright cheerful soap um, for the customer we make it the same every time. This is her fourth order with me. I do the same colors. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean I can actually get the soap exactly the same every time. You know, I can't. I can do the same scent and the same colors, but that doesn't mean it's going to look the same. And that's what we go for. bright cheery soap. Now I am going to do the fragrance. That way when I stick one of the colors we'll get the fragrance in as well. And then there will be ready to be poured into the mold. I'm going to start out with the orange. Now these are neon colors so they do need to be stick blended to get them incorporated. I'm going to go to my pink. I like just to get it incorporated and then hand stir the rest of the way. Well, stir with my stick blender. Now we're going to do this deeper orange. go to green and then we'll do blue. So 
It's one of my favorite soaps to make, but um, it is custom to her, so I won't make it for my shop, but I absolutely love it. It's so fun and bright and cheery and smells amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want a soap like this, you know? I will stir it with my little chopstick when I get done here. I'll make one more pass of all the colors. the colors out. And I'll leave what's ever in there for the top. done. Last one is the pink. Right. Wipe my fingers off. Get my chopstick. do that. Let's see how it turns out. I'm going to give this a smackaroo on the floor. It always makes the racks in my oven uh, jingle. the blue because it's a bit dark and can be overpowering. The bright orange. All right, now we'll do green. Happy New Year. We did here. Kids are back in school from Christmas break.
We have lots of new exciting things going on with Be Scented. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you who are part of our Patreon. Um, we're doing videos for recipes. Uh, you get coupons. Uh, oh goodness, all kinds of content. You get one-on-one -on -one, uh, support with Laura and I. Uh, depending on where you sign up. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camcorder, guys. But yeah, we have a ton of stuff going on. And, uh, you know, we're just super excited for everything that's been happening. And all the support that we've gotten um, from you guys. have lots of new products coming in to be scented for uh, Patreon for uh, recipes that we're doing. Um, we just have a lot of a lot of exciting things. Alright guys that's that. We'll bring you fra back for the cutting. Hey guys we are back to cut this wholesale soap. I'm only going to do one on camera just because you know they're both the same. You guys saw me make it. So. Let's zoom you in. Very pretty. Look how pretty those swirls are, guys. Very nice. Very happy. Now when I do wholesale, I let the customer pick how thick they're cut. And these are one inch bars. It's just a little bit smaller than my normal one and an eighth. Alright, last cut. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.